St. Faustinia's new director and diary. My daughter, have no fear, have fear of nothing. I am always with you. All your adversaries will harm you only to the degree that I permit them to do so. You are my dwelling place and my constant repose. For your sake, I will withhold the hand which punishes. For your sake, I bless the earth. Diary of, from the Diary of St. Faustina, section number 431. And here is the cover of the diary. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at any anywhere in the world, actually. God heard her prayers. Father Michael Sopoko was appointed the new confessor of the convent. In addition to his job as theology professor at the seminary and university, and also a pastor at St. Michael's in Vil Vilnius, Sister Faustina saw him twice in her visions. She also had a vision of Father Sobo Poco suffering and she asked Jesus why do you treat him like that Jesus said to her father so so poco was suffering to win heavenly crowns sister Faustina felt many times that God gave her an assignment and did nothing about it say like painting the image she prayed, you urge me to do, you urge me on the one hand and hold me back and restrain me on the other. Then Jesus said to her, listen to my representatives. The priest, Father Sopoco, ordered for her a complete physical and psychological examination. The reports came back excellent. He became the first one to believe her and advise her to be patient. They became close. He also arranged for her a painter, Eugene Kazimierowski, friend of Father Sopoko and a professor at the university. He asked Sister Faustina to start writing a diary so that her confessions may not be too long. As per the order of her confessor, Faustina wrote a diary of 477 pages of neat, tight script in Villainous Convent, sailed in the summer of 1934. The diary is a spiritual classic, which in mystical allusions with solid theological truths she details the awesome journey of her soul, striving to be holy and do whatever God wanted. Her discernment, active submission, persistence in the face of adversity, fundamental trust in the Lord, faithfulness to the end, ability to change the things that were unchangeable, ability to be at peace with the unchangeable, and her whole personality comes alive in the diary. She simply inscribed her discovery of God's love as divine mercy in my soul. Let us not forget that, Faustina's, that Faustina had barely completed three semesters of schooling as a child in Poland. But remember... God chooses the humble, the humble of heart. And what can we say about Faustina? Very humble. And in the next video, I will talk about praying for the dying. And the importance of of praying at 3 p.m. Well, thank you, and may the Lord bless you and those who you love. Continue to pray for me and my family as I continue to pray for you and your family. And remember, remember the St. Faustina Kowalska 
is a true model for us. That even if we're going through adversities, even if, you know, in this case, they thought that she was a little lunatic, but she wasn't. And so if they say, oh, she's going crazy, don't be afraid because a lot of the saints have gone through that. Just keep on going. Remember that if you meditate on the passion of Christ, you go to confession, you strive for holiness, you will be attacked and you will be called crazy. But, you know, if you remain faithful and you pray without ceasing, you will never go crazy. May the Lord bless you. And once again, thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are sharing. And if you have not subscribed or not sharing yet, would you mind doing so? I can't wait to talk to you. And on the next video, we'll talk about Pray for the Dying and the recommendations that Sister Faustina is giving us in the time when we should be pray, praying as well. And check out the description box because in there I leave books and just different things for you to continue to learn because I'm learning. I don't know everything, but what I know I do share with you.